In this video, we're going to show you how to set your DVR so that it can work with your network. Log into the DVR first. It may ask you for your graphical password. You can draw it so. If your graphical password you can't, it doesn't work the backward C, you can locate the label on top of your DVR to find out what the graphical password is for your unit. Once you're in here, you're going to go into the network on the bottom row and go to TCP IP and locate the Ethernet port. And click on Edit. Click on DHCP for it to acquire automatically an IP address from your router. Once it does that, then hit Apply and OK. To make sure your DVR has now acquired an IP address, hit Network. And when you go back in here, the IP address will be displayed on the top here and on the bottom. It says my IP address that I got from the router, the gateway, the MAC address of the network port of the DVR, and the subnet mask. And it says mode DHCP. It has successfully applied. Let's say you follow the instructions that we just gave you. And when you go back to view what the network IP address is, and you get zero zeros, let's try that now. And hit apply and okay. And then we go back into main menu we go to network and we see zero zeros here and here that means your DVR is not properly connected to your router it is either not connected to your router or you're using a cable that is not working so to determine whether your NVR is in fact connected to a working cable you can look at the lights on the back of the NVR to determine if the lights are blinking or not there are two lights on the back of the network port of the NVR's LAN port, as shown in the picture here. They need to be blinking to show that NVR is actually connected to a network. If they're not blinking, that means your cable is bad. Change that cable and make sure they are blinking and connected directly to the router. So again, a working connection will give you an IP address. as shown here. Thanks for watching.